Well, when I come back from the Christmas holiday back to work, um, about five minutes after five, which is five minutes after my shift starts, um, ran into kind of a surprise. Um, one of the integral CNC machines at the shop that I work in went down really quickly um, after some troubleshooting I determined that this 24 volt switching supply went bad I thought it might be a nice little project to bring home over the New Year's holiday to um, figure out what happened to it well, this is a uh, wide Mueller 24 volt supply switching type power supply 6.5 amp output and what I found was most of the uh, electrolytic capacitors on the output were pretty much gone you can see here one two three four five six seven of them all in parallel um, the, basically they all had the tops popped up on them like happens to aluminum electrolytics a lot of times and the capacitance on each individual one was way off one thing I don't have in the, is it yet anyways is an ESR meter to uh, test the ESR and it was obvious that those capacitors were just plain junk and I'll show you here I've got my little Tenma capacitance meter 1980s vintage which surprisingly is still quite accurate on the higher levels but it isn't so good on the lower in the picofarad and the nanofarad ranges it's pretty far off on that but testing a little electrolytic with high microfarad capacitance it seemed to work quite well I've got all seven of them out I just test each individual one of them and you can see how far off they are these capacitors are 470 microfarad 35 volt and I'll show you how far off they truly are last one is really bad. It's about 70 microfarads. Like I said, these are 470 microfarad, 35 volt rated capacitors. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Probably not, but... So those things are really far off. first clue to this when I opened this up is 
see how the tops popped on them and you got some electrolyte coming out the top they're pretty much all like that every last one of them so that was the first clue that that was at least part of the problem I did some testing of the rest of this power supply originally thought and I actually stated in another person's video that the uh, ultra fast diode was shorted and that one of the MOSFETs were bad that was incorrect once I unsoldered these capacitors and removed them both of those items seem to test okay but I've yet to remove them from the circuit I'm testing them in circuit so and that is a common problem for a switching supply or any power supply for that matter um, the electrolytic cap capacitors over time will the electrolyte will dry up and you don't have the correct oxide layer and they'll eventually fail now I imagine if I test the ESR on those it's probably way high like I said I don't have an ESR meter yet that's something a project I need to build because I've run, actually run into junk aluminum electrolytics several times here recently that I haven't been able to fully test but um, also another thing if you notice that transfor little transformer there which is on the input it's pretty brown looking I haven't removed that yet and powered it up to see if it's any good I have a little variable transformer I could connect to that run it up in small voltage increments to test it out but um, I just figured I'd show that to you it's something to watch out for this power supply actually those capacitors had screwed up the performance of it so bad it was actually literally drawing the 110 volt input down to about 20 volts and then I don't know if there's an internal protection circuit maybe in there it was drawing it down and then it was releasing it was going back up to 120 and you could actually see that on some of the other 110 volt components on this CNC machine So I'm going to attempt to re repair this, maybe use, as a, use it as a uh, spare at work, it all depends on what they want to do. A lot of times they don't want to take a unit like this and have it repaired because they make big money per hour in these CNC machines, they'd rather just put a brand new component in it, but I'll attempt to repair it and if they don't want to... Uh, keep that as a spare then I'll offer to buy it from them for quite a bit less than what it would be for new and I'll have myself a nice little switching supply so you know that's about it this garage out here is freezing we finally have a uh, winter on the way and it's absolutely freezing in here and I'm about standing here shaking trying to talk so I'm gonna have to move into my basement here real quick at some point so that's about it for this video